finally happened. The world is ending. The human race has destroyed itself. It was inevitable. We must preserve the few. The important. The ones that rule the world. Entertain us. We have a proposition for you. We can save you. If you allow us. I'm Eric Michael Kochmer, and I'm directing, and I wrote Way Down in Chinatown, and this is... Jonathan Halusum, and I'm a producer. Of 22mm Productions. I also own 22mm Productions, that's correct, yes. The film is really about betrayal um, and love and revenge. That's really what the film's about. But it's, it's backdrop of the world ending. And you have a couple on the brink of distinction, extinction, basically, a relationship on the brink of extinction, and a species on the planet on the brink of extinction. So it's kind of like a little parallel. A really big part of this is really aesthetic. I mean, we were talking about black and white before, but. And we were uh, talking about noir. And noir. But, uh, you know. We've been talking about it a lot, and we've been trying to figure out the logistics, the locations, how everything's going to go down, what everything's going to look like. Um, and you know, there, there's this one particular scene. Um, it's it's the end scene where it's all where where it's where it's in it's in um, it's in the apartment in Chinatown. Yeah. And basically, that scene up till that point in the movie, everything has been in a realistic setting. We've gone through the beginning of the movie is um, a rehearsal room where these two professionals, Victor and Jessica, are auditioning actors for a play that Victor's written, because he's a playwright and Jessica is a director. And, um, and they're completely immersed in this play. They know the world's ending. Everyone knows the world's ending. All the actors coming into the audition knows the world's ending. Yeah, they're trying not to dying. think about it. They're just trying, yeah, random people are dying. They're just trying to just, you know, be alive. And it's basically, it's black and white, but it's done, it's being very realistic in a way. You know, it's very just basically kitchen sink realism at that point, a little Cassavetes-ish to a degree. And at the same time, they're being followed by these strange, strange theater producers, <laughs> which is completely random, except for the fact that in the world of this movie. Who's one of those theater producers? Aaron, I play one of the theater oh, yeah, producers, yeah, and Maria yeah. Olson, who's also yeah. interviewed, plays yeah. the other theater producer, Bob, and I'm Ken, Ken and Bob. And they're following around Victor and Jessica throughout the play because Victor and Jessica are two of the greatest writer and directors in today's theater, right? So, basically, like, that aesthetic is very dark, very noir, very like 1970s Cassavetes, like in the bedroom, you know, they're in, they're like in, in confined I mean, spaces by are. halfway through the movie, and then they travel through the dark, the dark city, to a white room in Chinatown. It's all white. We need some money. I mean, every little bit counts, you know, even a dollar. Basically, well, not, I mean, more than a dollar is great, but we have fifteen thousand dollars for our goal, right? And the fifteen thousand dollars will help us get a really good cut of the film. It might not be the final cut, but it'll help us get a whole cut of the 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 film. And at I this mean, we point, have, we have a lot of good people working with us already. Yeah. We, we have an excellent DP, an Kiko Sura. DP, Kiko Sura. Behind the camera right now. We have great locations so far. The more money we raise, the better it's go we're going to make it. My name is Maria Olsen, and I am an actress, and a writer, and a director, and a producer, and a casting director, and it just goes on. Um, you may know me from films like Percy Jackson and the Olympians, The Light and Thief, uh, Paranormal Activity 3, Diner, Get It, Shelter, and other such horror movies. Well, I have this friend, Eric Michael Kochmer, who is wicked talented, great writer, great actor, and he sent me the script, and he was like, well, read the script, would you be interested in the project? And I read the script, and... I just saw so much possibilities. I am associate producer in charge of marketing and publicity and fundraising. 
Um, that's going to be fun. Look forward to introducing our cast to all the people that I know on Facebook, Twitter, and other places like that. Um, and I am going to be trying to find, no, I am going to be finding the funding that will help us make this movie possible. What do I see as the vision for this film? Um, let me think. We have science fiction, we have noir, we have elements of horror, we have elements of apocalyptic drama, and we have a very intense character-driven story. Um, if you put all those together in a bowl, I think the film is going to be unclassifiable. I also think it's going to be unforgettable. Um, I truly believe that Way Down in Chinatown will be a cult film, just like things like uh, The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari, the original, and Metropolis. Um, Eric has got a wonderful vision, and he sees things that other people don't, and it's been absolutely amazing so far working with him and seeing the scene come to life. The apocalypse is coming. What would be more fun than to see a great performance? Spectacle. Please help us to ensure that mankind can prevent extinction and live in the deep dirt of the earth. You might even look like me. Like us. Please help us to make sure the elites can survive underground. Do not despair. Help us. Help us Still fulfill our, our mission. mission. <coughs> mm. <coughs>